high definition. We're still in studio with Barack Khafri, a kidney donor, and Ori Karmaz, a kidney recipient. Thanks. Just before the break, we spoke about Sausan and Raed. They were a suitable match. You both agree, no problem at all what their, their, their identity, they don't mind about your identity. Health is the only factor. Of course. And what happens then? Oi. As I remember, we've been to the last day of the exam, of the medical exam, and we met them. And it was a little bit embarrassed because you don't know. When, uh, she, she said to Ryde, and we know for uh, after, of course, uh, she said that uh, I think the both of them are the, uh, the match for us. The match for us. And uh, we said hello, hello, like you know, it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> as you can understand, both of us are not embarrassing most of the time, but it was a little bit embarrassing. And, and this was before the doctors actually introduced you no, and no, said, no, yeah, no, yes. before, yes. Because, yes. before you actually this, knew. This, this, yes. So you're looking at someone and wondering whether yes. that's your case. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I thought because I saw uh, both of them sitting and speaking, and uh, I said to Barack, I think the, this is this is the match. And we start to speak, and then the, one of the nurses arrived, and the coordinator, sorry, arrived, and they, they, they uh, met us. And uh, we have a few minutes of conversation. And after that, they start uh, uh, been in a, start a relationship with Barack. And, uh, I, I called her, I called yes. her son, and told her uh, it's Barack. We, you know, we were going to, in, in two weeks, we will be in surgery together. So she, she said, ah, Barack, okay, she was a bit burst herself. <laughs> But very fast, we was, uh, was a friend. She, she told me, ask Ori to call us. We, 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 wouldn't eat, we would bite him, call, tell him to call us. And, uh, and the f last night in the hospital, before the, before the surgery, we was uh, sitting, the four of us, in uh, one of the rooms in, the, in um, Bellinson Hospital, and talking, talking about uh, ourselves, and they talked about the, the the kidney issues and the dialysis. Well, families, the, the families, uh, kids. Yes. And we talk about life. Life, life talking exactly. about life. Oh, well, people the talking about life. The before surgery. Yeah, yeah. the night before surgery. And so now surgery. after surgery, um, both uh, both operations were successful. Yes. It's uh, already okay to say. Yes. And this is quite amazing. Yes. And you've become like family. We are family. You are, yeah. you are, you do share yes, blood. I have, I have, I have yeah. his kidney, so he's my family. <laughs> He is, your kid, he is your family, um, but it really is beautiful, the relationship that's formed between the four of you. And you've actually dedicated much of your life to this issue. You founded an organization that looks to make these matches. Can yes. you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yes. Uh, for, for the beginning, we decided, both of us, four of us, four of us uh, to open a non-profit organization. And uh, uh, two months before the uh, operation, I met a guy, his name is Gabriel Revivo, he, he also a donor. And his father, he donated a kidney three years ago. His brother donated a kidney, and of course, well. uh, two years ago. And they decided to open a, a non-profit organization, organization the same. So we matched together. You we merged. Do, yes, exactly. We're doing all the activity together. How do you change someone's perception uh, to help them understand that it's not as dangerous for the donor and really life-saving because a lot of it is perception and it is a, a frightening thing tell the story first we're telling the story when when you see a kidney donor i think you, you understand it's not a, this kind of it's not a big issue um, we try to raise the awareness by telling the story by uh, posting on facebook and uh, social media and uh, we do we did um, almost a month ago the mountain to valley run it was a group of uh, eight runners every one of us uh, donated a kidney is a and uh, a group of eight runners yes. each of them with one, one, kidney. Kidney, one kidney finishing the valley two uh, legs two legs two legs kidney. two legs okay and and They're finishing the run <laughs> all of you athletes mm, of some sort sort of right uh, some more some less but yes but we, we did it and it's a run it's kind of it's 225k and uh, everyone run his part it's 28 uh, hours yeah so it took us 20 wait, 28 hours. hours but how much is for each person each person it's like a, i run there at 36k and the other some some more some less so it varies but it's a, it's quite a chunk of, of running for yeah someone it's who has running one, outside two kidneys the, really yeah yeah so it's for anyone for anyone and and we did it we did it to to raise the awareness to, for the life after after you donate, you can back to you can come back to sport. You can come back to your usual life, 
And you, and, you they, change, and you change. Uh, and so, if there's one message you want people to leave with today, what is it? The, it's our life, day day life. The some kind of three thousand people that go into analysis every three three days a week. Their life is uh, on inside us. <laughs> is uh, on our body. In Israel, in Israel there is a fifteen percent every year. They are dying. 50% every year that are dying. I, unfortunately, that's all the time we have, but we will leave with a message of donation and you're living proof that it's possible both to donate, both to receive. Thank you so much, Barak and Nori. Thanks, High Definition heart. will be back again tomorrow with a new documentary that you don't want to miss. We hope you enjoyed today. Have a good night.